Dun, 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 dun. Okay, see you tomorrow, class. Hey, Heidi. Heidi. Yeah? Um, me and a couple of the girls are going to the mall after school. Do you want to come? No, thanks. I have to study. Hey, wait a second. How come you don't want to hang out anymore? Hannah, there's more to life than just shopping, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> what, did she say no like usual? Yeah. Well, why do you even try to invite her places? I mean, she's always going to say no. Ever since her dad died, she's completely ignored us. Get, I mean, get over it already. Come on. She hasn't had an easy life. <sighs> why are you always defending her? Because we used to be best friends. Of course, yeah, exactly. You used to be. But you're not anymore. I mean, at least she's not acting like a friend. You've been there for her all the time and she doesn't even appreciate it. You don't understand, Brooke. I know her a little better than you do. Whatever, let's just go to the mall. Okay, I'm coming. I'm home. Hi, honey. How was school? It was fine. Well, sit down. I have a little snack waiting for you. I'm not hungry. Come on. Sit down and eat something. Come on. Okay, okay. Come on. Okay. So, your teacher emailed me today. She said that you're starting a new unit. You have to write an essay, and if you wanted anything in the world, what would it be? Yeah. So what are you going to write about? You know what? You know what I um would wish for? What's that, honey? That dad could just somehow come back. <sighs> Heidi. No, maybe it can happen. I mean, you believe in resurrection, don't you? Heidi. I thought we'd been over this. Enough of that kind of talk. I wish that there was some magic too, but honey, things just don't work out that way. Remember what Dr. Smith said about accepting reality? Yeah, he's a quack and has really bad breath. What does he know? How to help children? Had to make them happy again. So no more talk about that stuff, okay? You never want to talk about dad. <sighs> hey, you know what? I was cleaning out the attic. And guess what I found? Remember this? Super Bowl tickets? Remember when we went to the Super Bowl together when you were little? <laughs> Yeah, and Dad was screaming so loud he couldn't even talk for a week. Remember that guy in front of us kept yelling, Down in front, down in front. I never never took you off my shoulders, did I? No. We had a great time, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> well, like, I have homework to do, okay? Okay. I love you. I love you too. But I gotta get my homework done. Okay. Come in. Hi, honey. Hey, Mom. What are you working on? Just, um, something. Are you working on another story? Yeah. Hey, how come you never let me read any of your work? Because. Well, at least you have a good reason. Mom. Well, look, I came in here to tell you it's time for bed, okay? Okay. Are you okay? You're awfully quiet. I'm fine. Okay. We need to go to sleep, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you, honey. Love you too, Mom. Good night. Good night.
time to sleep. <laughs> Heidi? Heidi? Honey, it's okay. You were dreaming, honey. You're just dreaming. Oh, I, I, I saw what happened to Dad. I know, honey. It's okay. You were just dreaming. You were just dreaming, honey. It's okay. It's all right. I try to go back to sleep. I can't. Just try. Just try. Come on, lay down. Deep in the meadow, under the willow, a bed of grass, a soft green pillow. Remember that song? Okay, you finish it. I gotta go. Where are you going? I just gotta go. But I'll wake you up in a little bit, okay? Try to get some sleep out so dark. Okay? Love you. Come in. Hi, honey. Hi, Mom. Um, you have a visitor. Uh, it's a girl named Hannah from school. Hannah's here? Yeah, should I send her in here? Yeah. Okay. Hey. Hey, what are you doing here? Well, that's a nice greeting. I'm sorry, I just wasn't expecting you. I need to talk to you. Can I sit down? Yeah, sit on my desk chair over there. Okay. So what's up? Look, I really want to talk to you. You really don't seem yourself ever since your dad died. You never really told me what happened. I already told you. No, he didn't tell me. And I'm a little hurt. You're hurt? Why? Because ever since he died, you've been ignoring me and Brooke. You don't hang out with us anymore. You don't get go out of the house anymore except to go to school. I mean, what is up with you? Have you ever lost a parent, Hannah? No. Well, then you have no idea how I feel. You're right, I don't. But give me an idea. It's like a big part of you is missing. How did he die? Your dad, I mean. He, um, he had a heart attack. Was it, did he eat too much food, junk food or something? No. Him and I, um, there's this time last year. He, um, and I were having an argument and, um, what were you arguing about? I don't know. Something stupid. And he said that I should start acting my age, and I told him I hated him. Then he left for work angry, and then... And what? <sighs> then, two hours after he left, we got a phone call from his office saying he had a stroke. Oh my god, really? I never even got a chance to apologize to him and he the last thing what he heard from me was that I hate was that I hated him and there's no way I could take those words back I wouldn't blame my dad if he hates me your dad doesn't hate you I'm sure he knows you didn't mean it 
with teenagers, you know? I know that. It's just, I don't know. It's just so hard to deal with. And nobody understands. Well, you got to give people a chance to understand. It seems to me like you don't want to be happy. Don't tell me you want to be a psychologist. I've been to enough therapists. See, there you go again. Always pushing people away. I can't help it, okay? This is, this is very traumatizing to me, and nobody understands. You got, Like I said, you got to give people a chance to understand. Your dad would want you to be happy, and so would your mom, and so do I. She would want, your dad would want you to hang out with your friends and have fun. Let him know that you're okay. You have so much to offer. Before your dad died, we had so much fun together. Yeah, we had a great time. I want us to have a, I want it to be that way again. Your dad would want you to be happy. Yeah, I guess so. Guess so, nothing. Well, look, I gotta go. I don't want to be late for dinner. I just thought you should hear it. Hannah, wait. Yeah? Do you want to stay here for dinner? You mean it? Yeah. And then maybe I can ask Mom to take us to the mall afterwards, before it closes. I'd love that. Great. Can I use your cell phone to call my mom and let her know? Yeah. Go ahead. Thanks. I think you'll be okay, Heidi. I think so, too.